today we are going to start a new chapter remainder and factor theorem polynomials an algebraic expression is called a polynomial if the powers of the variables in each term are non negative integers in our syllabus we use only one variable either x or y exercise 8a first question find the remainder when x cube plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 4 divided by x minus 2 okay so what you will do it x cube plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 4 and here x minus 2 okay my take x squared so you will get x cube minus 2x squared do the subtraction 5x squared minus 12x you will get then multiply by 5x 5x squared minus 10x okay do the subtraction minus 2x plus 4 you will get then again multiply by minus 2 you will get minus 2x plus 4 and then do the subtraction you will get 0 what is the remainder remainder is equal to 0 this is one method okay same we can do with the another method what is that method method 2 step 1 x minus 2 divisor is given no take that one x minus 2 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 2 you will get okay now you know the value of x that is 2 put this in the given polynomial okay or in the given equation right so step 2 put x is equal to 2 in x cube plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 4 then you will get 2 cube plus 3 into 2 squared minus 12 into 2 plus 4 Then a plus twelve minus twenty four plus four. So twenty four minus twenty four got the remainder zero. Okay, what is the remainder zero? Find the remainder when x power four plus one divided by x plus one. Step one: x plus one is equal to zero. X is equal to minus one. Then second, put the value of x in. Equation x power four plus one. Then what you will get minus one power four plus one. So one plus one that is equal to two. So what is the remainder? Remainder is equal to two. Okay, I'm going to follow this method only. Clear? Show that. 3x plus 2 is the factor of 3x squared minus x minus 2. Okay. Factor means the remainder is equal to zero. In factor, what you have to see, remainder should be zero. The remainder is equal to zero.
if the remainder is equal to 0 then we can say that is 3x plus 2 is the factor of 3x squared minus x minus 2 okay understood if you get the remainder is equal to 0 after calculating after solving then we can say 3x plus 2 is a factor of 3x squared minus x minus 2 clear now solution you have to take 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 then 3x is equal to minus 2 x is equal to minus okay now Put x is equal to minus 2 upon 3 in 3x squared minus x minus 2. So, 3 into minus 2 upon 3 whole square minus minus 2 upon 3 minus 2. So, 3 and you will get 4 upon 9 minus minus into minus plus 2 upon 3 minus 2. Cut. So, you will get 4 upon 3 plus 2 upon 3 minus 2. So, 4 plus 2, 6 upon 3 minus 2. Cut, you will get 2. So, 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. Since remainder is equal to 0 therefore 3x plus 2 is a factor of 3x squared minus x minus 2 this is the answer clear so when you will get the remainder is equal to 0 then we can say 3x plus 2 is a factor of 3x squared minus x minus 3x squared minus x minus 2 divided by 3x plus 2. Isn't it? What is the remainder you got? Remainder is 0. Isn't it? Now see here. This is the polynomial. For this polynomial, can I give one name? f of x is equal to 3x squared minus x minus 2. Okay. And then, got the x value? No. That is minus 2 upon 3. And you put in the place of x, minus 2 upon 3. Isn't it? And you got the remainder. Zero. Okay. So I can write. Okay. What is this minus 2 upon 3? X. Can we write? f of x is equal to remainder. Okay. And what is this f of x? Function of the variable x. Isn't it? Okay. This one is the remainder theorem. What is this? This is the remainder theorem. If, if f of x a polynomial in x is divided by x minus a the remainder is equal to f of a okay the remainder theorem to find 2x minus 1 is the factor of 2x cube plus 3x squared minus 5x minus 6 Okay, so 
First you write 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. 2x is equal to 1. x is equal to 1 upon 2. Okay. Then f of x is equal to 2x cube plus 3x square minus 5x minus 6. Then f of 1 upon 2 is equal to remainder. This is the remainder theorem. Says. Okay, using the remainder theorem. That is 2 into 1 upon 2 whole cube plus 3 into 1 upon 2 whole square minus 5 into 1 upon 2 minus 6. Then 2 into 1 upon 8 plus 3 into 1 upon 4 minus 5 into 1 upon 2 minus 6. 1 upon 4 plus 3 upon 4 minus 5 upon 2 minus 6. So 4 upon 4 minus 5 upon 2 minus 6. You will get 1 here. Then 1 minus 6. You will get minus 5 minus 5 upon 2. So 10 minus 10 minus 5 upon 2 minus 15 upon 2 that is minus 7.5. What is the remainder? Remainder is equal to minus 7.5 as the remainder is not equal to 0. Therefore, 2x minus 1 is not a factor of 2x cubed plus 3x squared. Minus 5x minus 6. Clear? Next one. If 2x plus 1 is a factor. In the question itself they have given. This one is a factor. So, if it is a factor means remainder is equal to 0. Okay, if factor is given, remainder is equal to 0. Okay, is a factor of 2x squared plus ax minus 3. Find the value of a. Okay, first one you will write 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Then 2x is equal to minus 1. x is equal to minus 1 upon 2. Okay. Then second you will write f of x. Second you will write f of x is equal to 2x squared plus ax minus 3. Okay. And then f of Minus 1 upon 2 is equal to, minus 1 upon 2 is equal to remainder. So, here remainder place what you will write? 0. Minus 1 upon 2 is equal to 0 since 2x plus 1 is a factor. Therefore, remainder is equal to 0. Then you write 2 into minus 1 upon 2 whole square plus a into minus 1 upon 2. 2 into minus 1 upon 2 whole square plus a 
to minus 1 upon 2 minus 3 is equal to 0. Because this one is f of x is equal to 0, no? Then, you will write 2 into 1 upon 4 plus or minus, minus a upon 2 minus 3 is equal to 0. Cut 2 you will get. Then 1 upon 2 minus 3 is equal to a upon 2. Then take the LCM. 1 minus 6 upon 2 is equal to a upon 2. 2 and 2 get cancelled. 6 mi minus 1 minus 5. What is the value of a? a is equal to minus 5. Answer. Clear?